Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today I am just elated with this news. Uh, I actually, I got this news yesterday and I'm still reeling from it. Like I, I can't believe this is happening. One thing that came out uh, the year of my brain aneurysm rupture on my birthday of that year, no less, was a video game called Alan Wake, which I am just a huge fan of. Um, I was in just completely enthralled by the narrative, by the character of Alan, by the kind of like the love letter to, you know, Stephen King style books or Dean Koontz and all these great writers that did mystery and horror and things. Um, then also kind of like a nod to Twilight Zone in a way and uh, Outer Limits and stuff like that. And I've always just, I don't know, I just felt really immersed in that and really loved how it all came together in the game of Alan Wake. And so, you know, now all these years later, 11 years later, uh, this game came out 11 years ago. It's the same with my brain aneurysm was 11 years ago. And I have been very tethered to this game. Um, it is not a major franchise. Like, you know, I've talked a lot about Transformers or even Spawn, uh, Venom, all these things I talk about on my channel, Ghost Rider. All of those things are bigger franchises. They're more well-known. They got out there. They're in the zeitgeist of pop culture and everything. But Alan Wake is definitely one of those cult favorite things. It has a hardcore fan base. In fact, I rarely ever get involved with communities in the way I have with the Alan Wake community. You know, reaching out, doing, uh, you know, signing petitions, making a lot of noise online. Um, a lot of things I used to do in message boards and stuff like that on old accounts. Like, I always wanted this game to expand. They were going to make a sequel and they never did um, they made a you know some DLC which was amazing and I had a lot of fun playing American Nightmares uh, but then they also just a couple years ago they released a game called Control and in one of the DLCs for Control they hinted at you know more Alan Wake stuff and there was like an Alan Wake kind of DLC and that gave us a lot of hope a lot of Alan Wake fans it gave us hope and it also people who were new to the world of Control and you know Remedy and all these great games that that company makes Playing Control kind of was like, you know, intrigued some of them at least uh, of what Alan Wake was and got them to look into it. And Alan Wake was a game that was exclusive on the Xbox for many years. And then recently, a couple years ago, I think also came out on PC. Well, now uh, we have a full remaster of Alan Wake. Like, I, 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 I'm like really ecstatic for this. Like, I really am. Like, I, I'm uh, the more I think about it, the more emotional I get, like, like Halo, you know, which was the one of the first games I played after my aneurysm rupture, um, Alan Wake was also one of those games. And uh, and so these games, they mean something to me. Like they got me thinking, they got me reacting, they got my, you know, they showed me that my brain is still sending sending signals to my hand, and I can un they can understand each other, and I can I can contribute something. If I can play a video game and learn through this, I can still contribute to the world. It got me to go get a job, you know, soon, you know, soon after I was walking again. And these are just big moments in my life of rebuilding that these, some of these games have like were a part of and comics and things and movies were a part of. And Alan was one of the games that was really hard for me to understand at first because uh, I have a, a disconnect sometimes with narratives. Uh, the more complicated things get, uh, sometimes I, I, I struggle. My, my brain doesn't connect all the dots. But something about Alan, I was like, I know I'm I'm determined to understand what they're saying with this game. Um, you know, Halo is simple. It's it's more straightforward and fun and and you know exciting and it has all these elements that are just very in your face and very obvious. And Alan didn't have that. It had a lot of uh, themes and, and and narrative mysteries and, and and this world they were building and then like you know things that were left unsaid, but you know in words, but shown through visuals. And there's so much in this game that I just, uh, I'm just so happy that we're getting another version of it. So how do I know we're getting another version? The Sudden Stop, uh, which is a reference to the Alan Wake character in the video game, uh, one of the books that Alan Wake wrote, um, and kind of describes uh, how the video game was. It was just a sudden stop. We never got the conclusion. We never know, you know, knew what happened to Alan afterwards, for the most part, uh, just kind of left to our imagination. But uh, the Sudden Stop has been this fan website that's been going on that I've visited many times over the years, and um, they're awesome. They've been holding the, the, they've been keeping the lights on, right, for us. For those of you who don't understand that reference, you, you will hopefully if you play Alan Wake Remastered. 
Um, but Sam Lake, uh, the amazing Sam Lake, who last year when I entered a contest online to prove I was a big Alan Wake fan, um, they sent me this. Uh, Sam Lake signed it, numbered it 11, which is my birthday, May 11th. And when the when the uh, the game came out, I think on the 10th of uh, the 2010, I can't remember, but it was around my birthday. Um, but I told him number 11 was my lucky number, and they actually gave me number 11 out of 40. Uh, what this is, it's a mini mag light. Because in the game, it's very important that you carry a light with you. And this was something I, I won, uh, like I think last year or right before I left California. And uh, they sent it to me here in Florida, which was really, really awesome of them. So to the Remedy team, you know, like I, I love what you all do. I've been playing all your games ever since Alan Wake. And, uh, and I'm so excited for this. So what they did, what Sam Lake did, was he reached out to the Sudden Stop, a fan website, I, I should say, he didn't go to a major publication or go out to, you know, any big news outlets or anything like that. He went to the fans directly um, and he wanted to write this letter. So I'm going to post it up on screen. Uh, the 7th of September announcing Alan Wake remastered an open letter from Sam Lake. This is for you. I'm beyond happy to tell you that at the time of writing this, Alan Wake remastered is nearing its completion. Confirmed, announced, coming up in partnership with Epic Games Publishing, multi-platform, PC on the Epic Game Store, Xbox, and for the first time ever, PlayStation. This generation and the previous ones. This is for you. Alan Wake came out over 11 years ago, and through that time, you have told us again and again how much you love this game, the story, and the characters and lore. And that matters a lot to us. We love this game as well. I love this game. The remaster is coming because of your support for Alan Wake throughout the years. This is why we felt it was fitting to make the announcement here at the Sudden Stop, which has been an integral part of the Remedy community since back in 2012, when it started out as an Alan Wake fan site. The Remedy community wouldn't be what it is today without the Sudden Stop, and we wanted to show our gratitude by telling you about Alan Wake Remastered right here. So thank you, Rachel, and everyone else for supporting Remedy and our games throughout these years, which, yes, I mean, big shout out, like I said, when you have a fandom and, and a passion that hardcore, like they, like Rachel and everyone who runs this site does, and everyone who works over there, and um, and like I said, they kept the lights on, and uh, that's it. In the Alan Wake universe, that's the most important person you can be is someone who keeps the lights on. So, um, yeah, they were our, they've been our lighthouse for these past you know seven years, eight years now. The letter goes on to say, early on in the game, Alan Wake says, in a horror story, the victim keeps asking why but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we remember in the end. This is an idea close to my heart. Stories that make me think excite me. Stories where everything is not freely handed out to me or wrapped up neatly, where I am left with a mystery. Mysteries are magical to me. They hold a promise, and I am often happier with that than a final answer. This is what we as a team, and I as the lead writer of Alan Wake, set out to create for you a long time ago. This story and character were personal in many ways. Alan Wake, being a writer himself, gave me an opportunity to use what I do and love as a writer as an element in the story. Alan Wake also contained the mystery of forests, lakes, which are precious to me as a fin. <laughs> and instead of a focused one-note horror fair, it was this strange, even wasteful mix of horror, humor, and supernatural mystery. I also love it because it turned out to be a very hard game to make, with many struggles along the way, and that makes me even prouder of what we achieved. The original game was only available for Xbox 360 and a few years later, PC. We are thrilled about the opportunity to bring the remastered version out for a new generation of platforms. I am excited to hear what you think about Alan Wake. Alan Wake Remastered is the original experience you fell in love with all those years ago. We did not want to change that. But the visuals all around, including the character model for Alan Wake himself and the cinematics, have been updated and improved with some choice next generation upgrades. Alan Wake Remastered will launch this fall. Stay tuned for more information soon. This is for you. I hope you enjoy it either again, like meeting an old friend, or for the first time. Yours, Sam Lake Creative Director, Remedy Entertainment. How... Awesome. I mean, we're going to get this on all platforms, uh, current generation and, uh, you know, next generation, um, which is freaking so cool to, to hear and see. I know it's 
just the, the story I already know and love retold with new graphics. That is enough for me. I, I mean, I think I kind of agree with Sam Lake on some level. I don't know if an ending for Alan would be satisfying at this stage in the game anyway. Um, sure, it would still be cool to see, and I'd probably rather have it than not have it. But at the same time, it does end on such a mysterious note. I feel like American Nightmares does put a, a little bit of a button on the story and whether Alan and his wife reunite. And I think I would, I'm would i okay with that ending because I thought that was a good enough conclusion for me to where after that, I may have wanted more just to see more of the world. But as far as Alan goes, I was pretty content with the way American Nightmares ended and, and, the, and the battle with Mr. Scratch and the reuniting of, uh, of Alan and his wife. So... I'm I'm really excited right now, <laughs> and I don't know. I there's nothing else I can say other than that. And to Sam Lake and Remedy and everyone, thank you, thank you for not only making a game that had this impact on people, but also recognizing the impact this game had on people. It is this is not a multi-billion-dollar franchise by any means, but the people who have played it have a deep love for it. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there's. A few people out there that maybe didn't like it as much as, as everyone else, but it, every time I run into a fan of Alan Wake, they are as devoted to it as I am, and it means as much to them as it means to me, and that just shows that whether you went through something traumatic around the time the game came out, or you were just someone who came across the game, uh, whether when it came out or a few years later, or on the PC version or whatever, um, or if you came in through Control, like you became a hardcore fan just on the same level as me and a lot of other people and, and everyone over at the Sudden Stop. So thank you for sharing this news. Thanks for keeping the lights on all these years, Sudden Stop. I can't wait to see what other information you might get through Sam uh, as we approach the release of this game because apparently it's complete and we're going to start seeing announcements for it and getting more news soon. And we might even get it this fall, apparently, according to this. Um, so I don't have a lot of time. I got to finish my book, Neverland. <laughs> that was the other thing is like Alan being a writer. I was a writer pre aneurysm. And when I came out, um, I didn't, I was not connected to the person who I was before my aneurysm. And so writing, I was in the middle of a book at that time. And uh, I was like nearing the end of writing Heaven's Echo. And I just, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I don't know how to write anything like, uh, the, the old me did. I don't know what I'm doing. And that showed in the final product for sure, but I uh, it was it was a hard world to step back into, and and now, um, you know, this game came out as I was going back into that world to kind of complete the dreams of the seek, you know, that was before the brain aneurysm, and now I'm writing Neverland, and that is the last thing I will probably write ever. Um, how serendipitous that uh, the, the first major thing I wrote post aneurysm, Alan Wake, was the game. That was there while I was, you know, I was playing while I was writing. And then now as I'm finishing Neverland, we get Alan Wake remastered. Uh, and it's the probably the last book I'll ever write. Um, that's awesome. I mean, I don't know. I just, it's very, very nice, clean bookend that you don't normally get in real life. So uh, thank you, Sam Lake, again. Thank you, Remedy. Thank you, Sudden Stop. Thank you, every Alan Wake fan out there. I rambled enough on this one. I'll try to edit it down a little bit. Um I just wanted to share my thanks and love and, and excitement for this because this is going to be a blast. I cannot wait to play this game when it comes out, and I promise you I will share that footage with all of you, uh, and I will bring a tissue box because there might be times where I just get emotional. Not that it's a sad game per se, but there's just, I get, it's like when I play Halo Reach, I just get swept up in it um, because of, it makes me remember, you know, back then. Uh, and remember that the time back then and it, where I was surrounded by good people, friends, um, and I was uh, rebuilding myself. And uh, and so I'm, I'm very thankful for everyone, you know, whether I we still talk or not, who was in my life at that time. And um, and everyone who makes these great games that, you know, impact me and, and the rest of us so much. So thank you so much, as always, for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let me know your thoughts about Alan Wake, if you've played it. If not, if you have any excitement, any thoughts on it. Let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.